to engage it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw that, the lever. That weight gonna... down there that I showed you, that counterweight, mm -hmm. when you, that's when you let it off. That's what shut it off. Very good. So that goes out to the float pond, those doors there. And logs would come up here, and uh, would they have to be manually yep. taken off of there? Yep, PV, that was... And then they would... things that always help. Tried to do the best. They'd roll down the chain here and uh, be flopped over with these devices? Yeah, yeah you keep this full until he told you no, you know, towards the end of the day. Uh -huh. So they always had, had it ready to go, and uh, then when he got to here, then he flopped them over on, and you dropped your... Uh, spikes into them and that's the carriage right there that's a good stone what is that probably 12 foot there 16 foot oh anyhow yeah i would say probably 20. the smaller motor down below if you recall the pulley and cable system here would drive this sled all the way down here and pull the logs through that blade right there Oh wow, still greased up and ready to go, huh? Yeah, fine. But that's how they, that's what held the log. Mm-hmm. And any size, obviously, or within limit, I guess, but... Yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's, that's why they adjust in and out. You know, your smaller ones, you didn't need so much. The big, or the... Yeah. The guy on the carriage, that was his job. Yeah. Spike them down. Of course, you couldn't have them out too far. You get cut in half. <laughs> well, you get cut in half, it'd be a nasty saw. <laughs> Luckily, nobody did that, huh? Interesting. The uh, the dates up there. That was yeah, probably that, during that your was, time. Yeah, uh, Red Pine that day. That was our record right there. 116 logs in a day. That was a lot. You know, for the way this ran and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here's your cable that when Junior was on this boy, back and forth, just zinging. That day we did 116 red pines. That was one of the lumber. This place was flying. Well, we got a lot of cleaning up to do in here. We got to take out the storage, old tables, and that fix a lot of porcupine damage. You can see the walls have been all gnawed and everything. Oh boy! But the equipment is all fairly intact, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in really good shape. Amazing. With you. And uh, what were these for, Tom? These were your controls for the saw and. In this. Mm -hmm. So you've got some notes up One there. One was, I think, for bringing them over. And the other one was for flopping them. And this was your, for your saw. Very good. And here's your safety switch. <laughs> That's all there was to it, huh? Yeah, so you oh, I see. So. <laughs> Run the carriage. Looks a little homemade there, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but that was so you couldn't, the carriage wouldn't move on you uh -huh. during break time, lunch time, whatever. That's your safety switch. <laughs> wow, that was probably one of the citations there. What do we got up there? No, uh, it's what they needed for. That was their orders. Oh right, you were telling me about that. So, so if they needed X amount of two by fours for a certain project or something yeah. like that, they put it up there on the board. Yeah, that's. That was what he cut with. And that's what he used. Pretty neat. Yep. I doubt if any of the tools are in there to, when they change the teeth, they had this little tool. And well, there's a few things in that. Of course, you, you know, these come out. Mm -hmm. You replace the teeth. Teeth are separate. You, I don't know if you can see them through that, but. These little half moon things are what held the teeth in. Teeth are a little separate. I he filed them. It didn't change them too often. He used the file. He was good at filing them down. Whether there's anything left in here or not, I don't know. Yeah. 